Excuse me, sir. Hey, welcome back. No, no, uh, I'm supposed to be pretending I'm a different person this time. You're not supposed to know me. But I do. No, but we're pretending. Oh, right. I thought we were clear. Right. Sorry, it's been a whole video since I saw you last. I'll come in again. Hello there, sir. Welcome to the Fast Science Learning Boutique, where you can learn any science fast, fast, fast. How can I help you, person I've never seen before in my life? How was that? It was a little heavy-handed, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I heard that vaccines were bad. Are they bad? Nope. Thanks a lot. This video is dedicated wait, to- Wait, wait, no, um, I, I really heard they were bad. Well, what did you hear? Uh, that they cause autism. Nope. This week's video is dedicated no, to- No, okay, no, look, you really have to help me understand. Okay, okay, okay. Have you heard of science? Yes. But do you know what it is? Like baking soda and vinegar or volcanoes and stuff? No, not really. Science is a way of learning about the world. Okay. One of the things that makes science so good is that it's reproducible. Reproducible? Say you do an experiment. Yeah. And get a result. Yeah. Then I should be able to do the same experiment and get the same result. And what if you don't? Then one of us is doing it wrong. So we need someone else to come in and do the same experiment and someone else to do the experiment and eventually everybody will get enough results for us to learn that you did it wrong. Now wait a minute, why am I wrong? It's an analogy! Okay, fine. How did I do it wrong? Science has some very strict rules to follow that make sure that you don't make a mess out of the stuff you're trying to find out. And if I didn't follow the rules the way I was supposed to, then you get bad results. Also, you can make bad guesses even from good results. Like how? Well, let's do an experiment. Okay. What is your favorite color? Uh, blue. Uh-huh. And what don't you like to eat? I don't like bananas. Okay, I have some data. Here is my conclusions. People who don't like bananas like the color blue. I don't think that's a or, good- Oh, maybe not eating bananas makes you like the color blue. I'm pretty sure- What if the color blue makes you not want to eat bananas? Well, this is ridiculous. Welcome to the Nightly News. Our top story, a new study has found a link between liking the color blue and not liking bananas. A link? Yeah, a link. You can't deny that I found a link. It's right here in my data. How could the one thing have anything to do with the other? They're not related. Yeah, it seems pretty unlikely, but you have to admit it's not impossible. I guess it's possible. And that's where a lot of people stop. They get hung up on this moment when someone drew a link. Soon there are Facebook groups and YouTube channels telling us all that the banana conglomerate is forcing less people to like the color blue. But you said yourself, it's possible. Right now, yeah, based on this data, that conclusion is possible. But you only asked one person. There must be a better way to get to the truth. Well, there is, and it's called science. What we would do is do some more experiments where we would ask a whole bunch more people about liking the color blue and liking bananas and see if we get some more connections. And the larger and more diverse the group, the better. Like 10, still too small. 100, getting better. 1,000, 10,000. Now we're getting somewhere. 10 thousand people, boys and girls, adults, grandparents from all over the world and we asked them all about liking blue, liking bananas, and a whole bunch of other questions and now we've got the date. And? And? No! They turn out to be completely unrelated. So this all relates back to vaccines because... Because some guy made a connection that turned out to be really bad science. Like making a link when there really isn't it. And scientists since then have done a bunch more studies and looked at mountains of data. And? No. No link. Completely, provably false. 100%. I'm still not convinced. I've heard a lot of bad things. <sighs> From who? What? Well, where did you hear these bad things? A friend of mine sent me a link on Facebook. To a scientific article? Well, no. Let me ask you this. If you have a really bad toothache, would you go to a mechanic or a dentist? A dentist, obviously. And if your car breaks down? Mechanic or dentist? A mechanic. So if you want to trust vaccines, who should you listen to? Doctors and scientists or Facebook? Well, not all doctors and scientists think vaccines. Yeah, they do. Oh, come on. Not every doctor on the planet thinks that vaccines are good. 
because I've heard, oh sure, you're always able to find someone that realizes they can make a lot of money and go on a lot of talk shows and sell books if they just say anything. Like that vaccines cause autism doctor? Yeah, well guess what? What? They took his doctor's license away. Because they didn't want the truth getting out, man. Or because he was telling everyone provably false information. Well, I'm still not convinced. Well, some people are very hard to convince because they will never listen to anything they don't want to hear. Yeah! That's me. I'm not gonna listen to you. It's all a big conspiracy. A conspiracy? Yeah. They're trying to fool us. So who's they? All the people that know vaccines are bad and are covering it up. So like the 9 million doctors in the world are all in on Yeah! Them. And the 18 million nurses. Yeah! And the 8 million research scientists. Yeah! The pharmaceutical industry and the news and the government. You can't forget the government that they'd all have to be in on Yeah. Okay, so you've got 40 million people all in on one big secret. Yeah, they're all in on it. Any one of whom could come forward with some provable data and then they would be celebrated and they could go on the talk shows and write books because they would have some actual proof. Yeah, but none of them have. But no one has because it's a conspiracy. Well, what about the fact that literally anyone can look at that data or do their own study? They can? Sure. Science is a process. It's out there for everyone. Anyone can look at the data or do their own study and come up with a conclusion and then other people can look at their conclusion to see if it's right. And if someone comes up with something that everybody agrees is right, well, then there's the truth. Well, then what happens when someone out there learns the truth? They get found out and are sworn to secrecy too. Huh? Man, this seems like it would be impossible to keep secret. Well, I'll never be convinced. Never, because I refuse to believe anything that I don't want to believe. Okay, here's my best argument. Are you ready? Yeah. What's more likely, that 200 years of vaccines and billions of doses and 90% of the world's population and countless scientific and medical studies and millions of doctors and scientists are all wrong? Yeah. Or a handful of people most without any medical or scientific training are? Well, just look at it from the outside. What's more likely? Well, when you put it that way, of course your argument sounds better. But still, I've heard lots of things about vaccines. Do you know what you don't hear about anymore? Outbreaks of polio, or rubella, or measles, or whooping cough, rotavirus, mumps, diphtheria, and soon, COVID. Okay, okay, fine. The truth is, I don't want to get a vaccine because I don't like the needle. I see. What if it hurts? You do 10 things every day that hurt more than that. Yeah, but still. Stubbing your toe or skinning your knee or bumping your head, heck, even tying your shoes too tight hurts more than a shot. Huh. Okay, you know what? Say it does hurt. Would you trade weeks of being sick in bed to a tiny hurt that only lasts a single second? I, hmm, yeah. Yeah, I would. You know what? Okay, you convinced me. I'm gonna go get my vaccine right now. Great. Here, I got you, son. Take this. This video is dedicated to everyone who has a friend or family member caught up in disinformation and to everyone who's willing to sit down with that person and try, try to change their minds.